Hi, this video is for you if you're interested in introducing computer science in your classroom for the first time. First, explain to students that programs are just instructions. They don't understand spoken uh, languages, so we have to learn a language that the computer understands to be able to boss it around. Number two, point out products of computer science. It's everywhere in our lives. There are computers embedded in almost everything. So help students identify things that are important to them and the ways in which those rely on computer science and computer scientists. Three, explain that bugs are expected. Okay, so it's different than a lot of things where we think, oh, it'll just always be great. Tell students, even professional programmers, know that when you first write a program, it's never gonna work. But that's just part of the process. You know, it's just not done until you figure it out how it doesn't work and why it doesn't work and fix that. And so in the beginning, your first attempt sort of never going to work. Number four, explain synonyms for CS. So this can be a, a way in which this, the field seems really inaccessible of hacker, software engineer, programmer, computer scientist. What do all those words mean? And do those words seem, I have particular associations with them, so they might suggest to me that I, I don't belong or, or they're like different. So just demystify, be like, oh, functional purposes, they don't really matter. The difference doesn't really matter. Number five, promote collaboration and creativity. Computer science as a field has tons of collaboration and tons of creativity as you're trying to solve tough problems. So try and bring that into your classroom so students can see, oh, like, this is fun and, and you don't make anything really cool by yourself. You've got to work on teams and collaborate. Number six, model programming. So this is something uh, that's called live coding. Okay, it can be a little scary to do at first because you're going to make mistakes, but that's the point program in front of your students to show them, one, that making mistakes is totally normal, no big deal, two, how to resolve those mistakes, how to move past them, um, and really help them uh, be able to preview what they're going to be doing on their own. Number seven, publicize resources for learning computer science. So a lot of times when we introduce it in class, students aren't going to know how how do I do something else? Where does this take me from here? So I include extra credit parts on my homework assignments, even if those aren't worth many points, to just to say, hey, we learned this, you could go in that direction. Also, let them know where can they have access to a computer, okay? So in their community, what, what are those resources? What are the hours? Uh, what sort of things and resources can they find online? Good luck introducing computer science for the first time.